Oil, black gold, a child of Mother Earth once sought by every seeker of fantastic fortune. Once the fuel for brave new stories of Texas, stories of gushes, of oil men bathing in their newfound wealth. Sadly, oil is now at home with commercial reality. But in the midst of reality, somewhere along the pipeline, someone forgot to relate that 111,000 tonnes of oil are produced every year in Britain. North of Nottingham, in the cow country of Ekring and Duke's Wood, the search for British oil has been carried on with the greatest success. And if the national yearly output of 111,000 tonnes seems puny compared with the claims of Middle East magnets, think of it as 568,320,000 gallons or fuel enough to power an average car to the moon and back 20,000 times. And still they're breaking into the heart of old England for more. Still, geologists are shot-holing their way forward. He's laying microphones to pick up important sound waves during blasting. Those sheep have reason to be jumpy. This is where those oil adventure stories ended, when geology and seismology took a hand in locating black gold. When shockwaves traced on a graph read yes or no, here or further afield. The search for oil in Britain has been going on since the First World War, when overseas supplies were threatened. But not until 1939 was this area of Nottinghamshire discovered to be as rich as it is proved. Ekring's massive tanks lay bare the potential of British oil. Every year, production is increased, and every day, this man's job is to measure the amount of oil squeezed out of the rural earth. His dipstick makes mockery of a motorist's Sunday morning chore. For the men who work here, geologists, drillers, engineers, men who discover oil and bring it up and pump it into waiting tankers, for these men, their location doesn't matter. But for most who wander through our green and pleasant land, such sights are curious indeed. Oil doesn't mix with water.